come to me, the night is long. Sing for me, I'll sing along. Sing for me, oh, sing for me. Sway with me, we'll make them scream. Dance with me, we'll make them bleed. Sing for me, I'll sing along. Sing for me, oh, sing for me. It was because they knew. Oh, hello! Surprise! Whoa, whoa that whoa, could have been bad. That could have been bad. Oh, <laughs> hey, you gotta keep your Ooh. toes. I know it. it, it got the politics, and that could have been bad. Clay Brian Bell got turned around. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> Turn around, <laughs> bright. Uh, let me quickly oh fix God, that for shut you. Up. I can't believe you did that. There we go. Hey, Gabagool. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Gabagool. Uh, Gabagool. <laughs> All right. Bibbidi -bobbidi -bobbidi -bob. uh, Bibbidi -bobbidi. Dude. Hey everybody, welcome to the new discourse! Bibbidi -bobbidi. Yay! Right it's Thursday, which means uh, the halfway point to Whoa. the next episode of Dungeon Selects has been reached. Um, and what an episode last one was, let me tell you. Fucking banger. It was a great... Proper session. banger, as, uh, as, the, you know, as I heard a certain I've been writing say. that high all week. Yeah, good. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, so, we need to discuss that episode. Uh, we have some questions that got uh, submitted. Ethan submitted a bunch of questions, so we're gonna I know. go yes, through they them. They were actually good ones as well. What a fucking... holy shit. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go through Three. those, uh, as well as... Okay, listen. I keep getting shit on by my players because of this fucking <laughs> trivia thing that we do. Like, oh, this week was way easier than last week. <laughs> oh, this category, I would know a lot more about. Okay, well, to settle this once and fucking for all, we're playing Jeopardy. Four categories, <laughs> five questions each, several difficulty levels, and dude, after we've done the Jeopardy with everybody, I don't want to fucking hear it anymore. You know, okay? you know 100% <laughs> it's still gonna happen because we're like, Bollocks. <laughs> I shit. don't want to fucking hear it anymore. <laughs> well, then stop giving us fucking trivia then. Yeah. Okay, well, this is going to be the last time. Fair. Un understandable. The end of the decider. <laughs> I got paid with Bell. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> you're going to look great. Yeah. No, oh, I'm going to look you're stupid. Welcome. And Bell's going to be like, I got 100 points to win. I'm going to be like, I'm minus a billion. <laughs> That's true. That is true. So we're going to get to that when we get there. But firstly, um, any announcements uh, regarding DS or other streams on from your end? Uh, nope. Uh, the, uh, the one shot Lamau that's happening whenever I said it was happening. Like uh -huh. January, like January the. Did we say the ninth? Because we're back on the sixteenth, right? Yes, the ninth so is the when Janu I can't be here because I have to. You know. Oh, you're not here. <gasps> that's oh. fine. That's fine. That's annoying. Fine. No, I was gonna have you do all the scenes and shit. <laughs> And stream it for me. Uh, nope. <laughs> I have to fucking learn how to do it then. Cool. Well, um, it depends. Um, Sunday the second, mm. I'll be here and I'll be streaming and stuff. So we, if you want to run that one shot, then Sunday the fifth. Whichever Sunday is no. The second's the third. Oh, I'm stupid. Never mind. <laughs> you're, looking, you're looking at December, aren't you? I am a hundred. I was going to say because there's a Sunday the ninth, so minus seven would be two, right? Um, Ooh, so if you want to, if you want me to control the scenes and stuff, you'll have to do your one still on the second, because then I'll, then I can commit to doing that and play okay. and whatever the fuck. I can do it on the second then. Okay. Yeah. Ha, that's the announcement. It's not the ninth anymore. It's the second. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good shit. Okay. Cool. Um, I love it when Koiba does it tonight on. Uh, I don't know whether it's Profane Shell or mine, but um, mm. very late, at like one a.m. or some shit. Um, it's the Game Awards, Game and Awards. every year we do a shoot the shit as level select, watching that convention uh, and all that stuff. So this year uh, we'll be doing that as well. Normally they start a lot earlier. Like normally that convention is a lot more EU friendly, but this year it's not. So get fucked, I guess. But um, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be me, Profane Asterisk, Laura, Duke Asterisk? Question mark? I think. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, just keep it on the Discord. Keep it on the Love Select Discord or, or, or whatever, Twitter or whatever the fuck. Um, but that will happen tonight. 
Um, but yeah, that is uh, the announcement I have. It was the fucking one with the clip of the old woman, right? <laughs> Being like, why is everybody clapping? Is that, was that Game Awards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's Game Awards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Game Awards is my favourite fucking show to, yeah. to like shoot the shit. Uh, yeah. it's, it's because we love shitting on Jeff Keighley because it's fucking funny. Uh, yeah. We love shitting on game develop like game developers and games getting awards that we don't think they deserve. It's 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 just a great fucking combination, you know. Yeah. We so yeah, that's gonna be a thing. Um. So last episode, I'm gonna start yeah. sort of a little recap. The episode called Inner Demons. You ventured further into the depths of the dungeon underneath the Tenth Ring and eventually found your foe, a vendetta and a Lord Fearkrog. Twisted, corrupted, you learned from a prisoner that you freed, Argon, a golden dragonborn, that um, the cultists were experimenting removing Dragonborn's, like, body parts that gave them the ability to breathe fire or whatever breath weapon it is that they had at their disposal, depending on the color, and try and implement it into other creatures themselves, mainly. Um, you met Fearkrog, and you saw a, a human man, but his entire pretty much left-hand side of his body was completely, like, dragonified. He had this this scaly dragon arm with claws, the left hand side of his face covered in scales, and his left eye was a lot more reptilian, more dragon-like. Uh, and he also had this, this shadowy aura kind of surrounding him. He was possessed, partially, or his body was host to a shadow demon, Malek, the shadow demon that Sai has been hunting for a very long time. After making quick work of Vendetta and, and defeating Lord Fearkrag, you thought the fight was over, it was a rough fight, but then a shadowy pool manifested itself into the form of a shadow demon, and uh, you had to fight that as well. But you won. Several of you went down. It was a rough fight, but you did it. You fucking did it. Oh, and yeah. it was a fucking fight, dude. You leveled up yeah. as well, so that's what can be cool. Hey. Yeah. Uh, pretty much everyone besides Ethan is getting a feat or a stats upgrade. Because Ethan mm. multiclass, so he's not level 4 mm. technically. True. <laughs> uh, but the rest of you are all are. I don't think anyone's multiclassing, because I feel like I would have heard of, of it. So, uh... No. Oh, just secretly. No. <laughs> so, yeah. You're so everyone, surprise the DM the majority is getting, um... You know, feats slash stat upgrades, so you're gonna be there's gonna be a little more oomph to your uh mm -hmm. to your um abilities. It's gonna be a good one. So, before we start, do you have any questions regarding the last episode or I don't know, anything that happened so far in the campaign that you're like, hey Mr. DM, I mean, what is the main XYZ? Of the fucking cause you said like to us privately that do you had rooms that you were fucking not mad, but just like damn, up in a cool room. Mm -hmm. Like, did did we miss anything like, really fucking cool that you're just gonna like, reuse in like a different dungeon, um, or is it you be kind of set it for that dungeon now? Well, and... you missed a couple of rooms that would just kind of help you put the plot together better. Right. That, for instance, the room you skipped away in the beginning mm. was like an a, a surgery room, and you would find like dragonborn corpses with like their throats and chest cut right. open, body parts missing, and and then after that, you would have found Argon. He would have explained. And it's basically mm. just help you piece things together a bit by bit. Um, nothing that I can really rehash or reuse, but just some, mm. like, plot thingies or things that would help you understand the master plan here okay. a little better. Stuff like that. That's cool. So that's why I thought it would probably have been just, like, little, yeah. like, tidbits of information rather than, like... Missed the insta death room that I'm just gonna put in this other dungeon. <laughs> no, of Alex no, D get no. tapped on. That's the um, fucking talking chest, dude. Okay, we can talk about the talking chest. Hell yeah, because he would have absolutely sank to the abyss. To the abyss. Yay! <laughs> would he have said every if they got those three questions wrong? Mm -hmm. Would he have sent the people who answered the questions or the group as a whole? Well, you asked him, or it. 
can we discuss? At that point, the chess was like, okay, this is a group effort. One wrong answer, everybody's fucked. Oh, fuck. The only thing is, it's like, not everyone was there. Split the party. Yeah. That always works so great. So, <laughs> Elijah and Cypher just had these, like, the door would have come down and the friend's gone. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no yep. idea where we went. <laughs> I mean, nice. the chest would have absolutely piped up as soon as he entered the room, looking for friends. He would, be, he would just repeat the spiel. Be like, oh, to the abyss. And I feel like he would have probably gotten the, the gist of what Whip! happened. Yeah. <laughs> I had the fucking kill nah, me. They're pretty stupid. <laughs> mm. But yeah, uh, no, like, dude. And if you, were, if you were to be sent to the abyss, dude, that would have been a really cool, like, just mini arc in and of its own like getting out of the fucking abyss uh <laughs> that would be cool that would, it would have been pretty fucking cool we'd probably have vincent on for a little longer if that would have happened but i i kind of assumed that it wouldn't so mm. i felt safe enough to like put that in there and deal with it if it did go wrong but i feel like i was very confident that you would have been fine and i answered everything correctly which you did so i was right so um, you two have not really been on the discourse before, like, before, like, except for, like, one, like, way back. Right at the, yeah. right at the start, yeah. So, I want to ask the both of you, um, how do your characters kind of, like, view each other at this point in time? Like, how is that development? How is that development between Lazarin and, and Kess? Because obviously there's been some, some bumps in the road, uh, you know, Kess... Pretty much thinking that Elazarin is just a fucking pompous asshole at times, yeah. and uh, you know, I'm sure Elazarin has opinions of Kess as well. So you know, do tell. Oh. You can go first, Bill. Have fun. Okay. That. Um. Well, like at the beginning, Kess absolutely was just like, "Oh, this guy's an idiot <laughs> who thinks he's better than everyone else," um, and didn't really think he had much. <laughs> worth to her and then mm -hmm. the whole like secret um organization thing came out and she was like oh okay now i'm actually interested <laughs> and we'll pay more attention <laughs> um so now she's just kind of like in this weird place of like she 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 no longer thinks he's just like pompous and, and arrogant and annoying although she does a little bit but like not enough for her to be like i hate this guy and now she's kind of like i have a begrudging respect for him a begrudging <laughs> but it's <respect>. begrudging <laughs> okay 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 god uh, we Elazin, like thought kes was a very rude <laughs> at first i mean very like accurate i feel like just yeah like uh he he didn't get kes for a little bit and then Elazarin thinks he understands Kess. Elazarin in his mind thinks he's got Kess down to a fucking T, right? Interesting. He, he knows by fact he doesn't. Like, I, I know he doesn't, right? But Elazarin definitely thinks that Kess is putting on a fucking show. She's like, that's how she manipulates. Like, it's very much like she gets, she tries to get what she wants for being like, haha, look at me. I'm so ditzy. Uh oh, what's I'm this so thing? I'm so ditzy. <laughs> Literally, like, that type of like act right and he's like what does the fucking revolve around you it's not like this you're not as important as you think you are like get the like basically get the fuck back in your lane of like learn how what life is like elijah thinks he's fucking got it down like thinks it's like all show and like but then there are times where it's been like oh maybe she is actually quite curious person like i mean when he confronted her about the um her her vessel first and then she like fucking snapped him he was like whoa i was joking and like <laughs> whoa there, buddy. hang on a second you've just fucking clapped back <laughs> i was just making a little like ha 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 you've taken it seriously that's when he was kind of like oh she is a kind of actually naive <laughs> a little bit like it's that like oh but then also they're like i it kind of proved in Lazarus brain. It proved him right. He's like, there is more to you. Like you are. This is just a show. Okay, that's that's the real you in there. But no, overall, like he he respects Kess. He just thinks he understood her completely, and obviously will be proven wrong at some point in the future. 
But... Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I have a question, actually. Go on. Because, you know, Dragon Egg into Vessel, Cascade <clears throat> out, bad news. Um, what do you think transpired inside the vessel? What do I think? Yeah. Oh, I, um, I mean, I, I'm going to assume Blue was just not happy <laughs> because, yeah. like, if everything that we've been told about elementals and dragons, it's like, you know, it's like turning up into the final stage with an eye action. You know what I mean? It's kind yeah. of like, yeah, it's yeah. that kind of level of like, Lom out to not the, just to blue. elemental like the thing because yeah. I think I'm pretty sure everyone knows or like knows yeah. about blue that he was yeah. like yeah he was like a general the top right dog he was like of the elemental plane of air what well, air in yeah the like war he was against the dragons yeah he's like a top general yeah. of like you know of the war between the things and you've just basically shown this like really old army veteran who's probably gone through a lot of shit in this war of dragons he is the spawn of like yeah. Yeah, no, he, I, he was not dude. happy. <laughs> Especially red dragons, well, you could get away with it if it was like one of the nicer, like yeah, like you know, like a, a good more old, lawful like, one, I don't know, like a blue, a blue. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if blue is blue's more lawful, right? Aren't they? Uh, I yeah, know white's a bad. I know red and white are also, bastard. Blue are also like fucking cool. Oh, okay. oh, okay. Well, whatever, whatever the dragon type that's nice bronze or some shit. I don't fucking know, but it'll probably be a gold. metallic one. It's gold, all right, yeah. you know, like for instance, you know, it's. Like, it, 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 not all dragons bad. The majority of them but, are, but not all dragons bad. Yeah. Gold are definitely are the ones that are, like, More most chill when nice. it comes to, like, living with other people. Oh, you yeah. know, and, like, for, look at the but, Empress, for instance. Yeah, right? but like, bring up a fucking red dragon, it's like, yeah. dude, yeah, <laughs> come no. the fuck on. <laughs> uh, so what do you think happened to the egg, just out of curiosity? Either it's already been destroyed, or it's in, like, a stasis of, um, I'm gonna keep this for a bit, and... You make your decision either like not me or the egg, but that very much like you either about to like Kess is about to lose a lot of like repertoire with their with with this blue, or it's gonna be like okay, we're cool. I'll let you off this one time. You made the mistake. Do anything more like this. It's fucking you know consequences for your actions. Mm, I guess time will tell. I don't know. I don't think. Yeah, or if I find that next session, Kess can't use a fucking warlock powers. I know what's gone now. <laughs> like. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just blood Kes nothing. definitely like pissed off the being that grants her everything that she does on a daily basis. She's so. Long quest line to make up for it. Mm. <laughs> or you know, Kes got nice. Kes got patrons to choose from nowadays. True, like <laughs> fucking harem of patrons. Literally. <laughs> All right, uh, we've got questions submitted. Um, yeah. Three for Koiba, three for Bell, three for me. So we're just gonna alternate, I think. Oh, know? yeah, Fuck sounds it. good. Uh, Koiba, hello, it's me. I'm that guy. How is Elasmin yeah. feeling about the recent developments with the party finding out about his past, and how does he feel about their reactions to it? He's upset how it transpired. Okay. He does not like how it came out at all, because um, it wasn't because he wasn't it very much a control thing. He because he wasn't one who said it. Mm -hmm. um, he wanted to tell the party in a different way in a less like i don't know it seemed like just in this moment this is a thing i've got something to worry about he would want to do it more like hey guys just letting you know instead of it being like we're talking down fucking keep it um mm -hmm. he doesn't like how on he really doesn't like how on edge everyone is about it um you know like we're meeting people obviously this is a little bit out of character sort of thing but he has obviously picked up on it of people looking for tattoos mm -hmm. and it feels like in his mind he's like he, yes they're trying to be helpful but he's like you are going about this so in the wrong way and like it's that like i know how to deal with these people i've dealt with these people you know he uh, especially when we talk about like getting disguised right he mm -hmm. he would rather be out in the open and in the light because he knows they operate in the shadows it's very much that like why should i hide myself hiding is what they do i'm gonna make it so obvious where i am what i'm doing so if anything does happen it could be traced whereas if i start hiding no one will know what's happened i'm just gone there'll be no trace i like imagine some person trying to leave a big trace for basically almost anyone could then find him 
like if he does go missing like mm-hmm. if this does all ca- catch up to him he has a he has a trail that someone can follow to get to find him um but overall he's like happy but also like really unhappy about how it's gone about <laughs> fair enough fair enough um bell yeah Cass was clearly upset, or at least gave the appearance that she was, when Brooks woke up from being stabbed. Is this Cass beginning to show a less cold and distant side to the party, or was she just upset by the inconvenience? Um, I mean, a little bit of it plays into backstory stuff, which I'm not gonna talk about. But, um, like, the bit that has already been shown, like, she never actively try to be distant to the party or cold it's just kind of like how she came across Mm -hmm. but um like she was upset when he got stabbed and she was also a little bit pissed because it kind of forced her to confront the fact that she does actually now care about these people and if they died it would be an emotional inconvenience (laughs) (laughs) so she's like she's low-key pissed but she's also kind of, she was genuinely, like, a little bit upset. Okay. Cass has feelings. Wow. Cass has feelings. <laughs> wow. She hates it. <coughs> Very good. Yo, All right. Don't want us to read out the question for you, Dutch? Sure, man. We've been playing these new characters for just over four months now. Why are you reading it like that? I don't know. <laughs> how do the characters as they sit currently differ from how you envisioned them when you were given their backstories? And is mm-hmm. there anyone whose backstory you expect you're particularly excited for? I can't read. I don't know why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll do it from that. There's no, a couple of things, yeah. I expected... Um, like I knew Brooks was going to be a fucking prick. <laughs> but I didn't expect Brooks to be this, like, upfront about the fact that he's a dickhead. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um I also but I guess I didn't um I just didn't expect Kess like from reading the backstory and stuff, I didn't expect Kess to be so bubbly. You know what uh. I mean? Because <laughs> the backstory is pretty fucking serious and there's a lot of information there and there's definitely a fa- you know her fair share of trauma and whatnot, and I just from reading that and the talks that I've had with you, Bell, I just didn't expect her to be so like bubbly and like oddly charming in a way, I guess, uh, mm-hmm. as she turns out to be. Uh, as far as far as backstories go, uh, I've introduced pretty much everyone's backstory a little bit. Besides, yeah, even Brooks came up through the fucking journals, I guess, like a little bit. Yeah. Um, I have ideas for everyone. I'm very excited about the Elazrin one. That one fuck. I've put a lot. Oh, of, I've put fuck. a lot of thought into <laughs> things you don't want to fucking hear. <laughs> but also, Kess, <sighs> there's a plot hook that um, I have worked on um, that could lead to some interesting revelations and potentially just like character-defining uh, moments that. Um, uh, it's dude. All I'm saying is, uh, it's gonna be very fun and interesting. Uh, obviously, like, we're doing kind of like a, a Davian's like backstory is entwined because, like, he went to the or he's had these visions about, about Kosuth uh, for a long time and like him searching. That's a big part of his backstory. And we're kind of exploring that already, you know, hunting for the tears and whatnot, which is a very cool uh, plot, like kind of like sub plot line. Um, I'm excited for everyone's backstory because I love integrating players' backstories and stuff that you guys wrote into the plot of the campaign because it makes you a backstory is great for character development, and b it 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 makes you guys so invested because you're like, I wrote this, you know what I mean? I can I can hand you out fucking storylines all I want, but I'm never going to get you as invested as when you are exploring your own story arcs and your own plot line that you gave me to integrate whenever the fuck I want. You know what I mean? Mm. And I gave yeah. you a lot. <laughs> yes, you did. I, I, I gave you a little bit, but my goal is that little bit have very dense... Uh, it was enough. More yeah, than enough. That's what I'm saying. 
two ends of the spectrum whereas you gave yeah. like a little bit like here yeah, and i gave like fucking pages and because, pages yeah, of shit for, like, all koiba gave me was yeah there's this organization that i you know that were trying to recruit me uh but i kind of realized that they were pretty bad uh wow wow so i cut ties that's it that's all you gave me yeah i gave i gave him like a rough idea of what i thought this organization was and like it's rough scale yeah. um and was just like you know here have, have basically was have fun with it like it was and like, i did because like yeah. right now yeah. the story that you got given is that like oh new leadership i'm yeah. being hunted that is something yeah. that you never wrote that is something that i was like, okay yeah. how can i make this order come back into a, like a, a gripping story arc for a lancer and it's like okay what if there's a change of leadership and they want to tie up loose ends yeah. that makes a a big loose end because he knows about them and like you say they are a super secretive order yeah so obviously a loose end like that people someone knowing of what they are and how they operate is bad for business bad yeah. news fucking bad news yeah. bears um one key thing that i did want to do is the one npc you gave me like the one yeah. that got you introduced to them all i wanted yeah. them to not be changed i wanted them yeah. to not be corrupted and still be that yeah. like figure that elazarum remembers them to be yeah. uh, hence why he wrote you the warning and you know what i mean and i'm excited for when inevitably, you know, Elazar and him uh, reunite and meet up. Oh, be so good. I look forward to, I fucking look forward to that. I look forward to that so much. It's going to be good shit. I'm um, excited to see how you manage like, the Elazar one in. in particular, it's, that's such a slow burn, dude. It's great. Mm -hmm. It's such a slow fucking burn. Literally, that's what I like. <laughs> I, I love a slow burn rather than a, like, this is another story out good. I love this sort of like interceiving it's kind of always there and you get your like oh we did something like oh we think we solved it or at least we've solved this problem and it's like then you pull back the curtain you're like oh dear god <laughs> like it's like it's yeah. like you know captain america figuring out that half a shield was hydra you know what i mean like, yeah it's that like trust no one pretty it's much. like oh i got rid of that one hydra agent that was in shield looks at the fucking massive document of like exactly <laughs> <agents. laughs> like, yeah like oh it's gonna be fucking great and yeah. dude I mean, with a storyline like this, there's gonna be so yeah. much fucking betrayal. Yep, yeah. uh, I love it, and I love, the, and I love that I've made everyone fucking else suspicious of everyone. Agents everywhere, dude. Oh. Yeah, dude. Yeah, love love Davian it. is on edge. <laughs> That's the Rightfully thing. Rightfully like... so. Rightfully fucking yeah. so. Because like, if that guard, that like with the tattoo, like on the road, is tells you anything, they can be everywhere. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You'd be That's, anyone. Ugh, love it. Love it. Um, Koiba. Fuck, we're back to the question about me. I've just done all this talking. Shit. <laughs> now that we've severed the head of the arsonist cult, is there anything either yourself or uh, Elazarin try to steer the party to next? Um, I don't think so. I think Elazarin is kind of along for the ride now. Um, mm -hmm. If anything, it's because he wants to just... I don't know. He thinks with these people, we're going to keep on moving. Mm -hmm. So if they're like, let's go to the outside of the continent, he's like, Yo, we're fucking going to the outside of the continent, baby. Let's get out of here. Let's get you know we ain't okay. he's not he's not happy in big he's a bit a bit like Devin. he's not happy in cities at the moment he is not that's where he has the least amount of control of his surroundings he feels like yeah. so he wants to kind of be like we're doing a thing it's sure anything apart from what i have to currently be facing or like anything to like you know it's like anything to get me out of the house yeah sure <laughs> i'll do it i'll take this job fuck it <laughs> let's go so <clears throat> yeah fair enough yeah um, Bell, yeah. excuse me. How does Kess and you feel about the recent distance between Daigon and Kess? With Daigon spending time without Kess for the first time in weeks, does Kess see this as a positive or negative light? Is she happy and Daigon is making new connections, or does she feel a little left out? Or I'll add to that question because we talked about it with Laura the other day uh, on the discourse. Does Kess even realize that there is a problem between them? She does not. <laughs> she has no fucking clue. She does not know at all. Um. <laughs> yeah, because Laura was like, it, it, she's waiting for Kess to bring it up and be like, hey, why are you being like this? She does not, she's, she's, she hasn't noticed at all. She's just like very focused on her own shit. Because <laughs> we, we had like a lot of conversations recently with Kess that ended mm -hmm. up being like, you're, you're a selfish person. Like, you're very self centered. You're selfish. And her being like, oh, I am, I guess. Maybe I am <laughs> a selfish person. And, it being an issue which she didn't anticipate when people were like, you're selfish. She's like, oh, okay, maybe I am. And then it's it becomes a problem when she's dealing with other people and she's like, surprise Pikachu face? Like what? Being selfish is bad for 
interpersonal relationships. But um, yeah, she, like she she's 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 picked up on a couple of things, like um, Dagon writing down her answers. But she's just like explained that away as like, oh, Dagon wants to like find her own way to communicate that isn't through me, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. And then goes on her bubbly little way and ignores all the other signs that something's wrong. Okay. So it's yeah, it's definitely gonna be a thing of like Dagon has to confront her and be like. I've been waiting for you to bring this up, but you have obviously not noticed. Because be I think a, that will be also such an be... awkward, like, fucking conversation. It's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> it's also going to be, I think, is a good thing for Daigon. Because Daigon has basically just followed Kess around for a year and a half. And they yeah. haven't really had any issues. So I think it will be good for Daigon to, like, have to confront Kess and be like, hey, you did something and I'm pissed about it. Yeah. Because Daigon is pretty, like, non-confrontational. Yeah, she um, she's very not confrontational. Yeah. But um So yeah, I hope I hope Daigon eventually is like, okay, look, <laughs> I'm I'm fed up with this. <laughs> like You're being a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Okay. But uh Koiba, do you wanna do the honors? <laughs> Redeem oh, yourself? We, yeah, hello. Uh we we've semi sort of answered this. Um yeah. but we'll still ask it. With Kess having such a close relationship with her patron, and now bringing a dragon egg as a friend <laughs> from the party, how does Blue feel about the group and Kess's relationship to them? I'm going to assume this is going to be a find out in fucking campaign lol. Um, well, Bell can confirm Blue is super chill. Because mm. that's like the whole thing about air ganasi and air elementals. They're very like go with the flow, chill, you know. Nothing really bothers them. This fucking bothered him. He didn't raise his voice at Kess, but he was not fucking happy. And he, oh. he did give Kess an ultimatum of sorts. Uh, or like a choice to make uh, within a certain time frame. And like, Blue is super chill. He is literally like, I... You have to really work hard to, to get under his skin. And this got under his skin. It did. Uh, he doesn't really, <clears throat> uh, I mean, he doesn't really give a toss about the group that Kess is involved in, as long as Kess <laughs> is safe and whatever. Um, so anything Kess does reflects Kess and Kess alone in his eyes, because he doesn't give a toss about the rest. Right? Um, he cares about Tess, about, about, about Tess, about Kess. Um, for a, a, a lot of different reasons. Um, so Kess kind of, basically, he kind of feels like Kess, like, shit on the hand that fed her all these years, and really, like, just disrespected him, in a way, and he's not happy. No. Pretty much. Nice one done, Kess. Nicely fucking done. <laughs> We're not really good. He's, yeah, he's not very, he's not, he's not very happy. Not. Did he... He give the whole like I'm not angry, I'm just very disappointed. <laughs> uh sort of, kind of. <laughs> Fair. But yeah, I'm not gonna have, you know, the, the, we'll find out in RP. <laughs> yeah, Smile. Like what the yeah. exact details yeah, I mean, are like, yeah. All that yeah. stuff. Um, Koibi, last That's question me. for you. <gasps> um, how is the last one feeling after a second near death experience in under a week? <laughs> <laughs> He's feeling very fragile. Like, level I three, level three, had level always three. wanted to try and when I when I set out at Lazarus, when I was making this character, he was very much going to be a backliner, never in the fray, and all that. And then Twilight Domain Cleric came about, and that kind of ch had to change because of how Twilight Domain Cleric works. You have to be kind of close. Like, so he's now mid-range, as it were. You know, he's not right up in the face, but he's definitely not, like, you know, further back than he'd like to be. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I've I've had to... He has to be there, so he's feeling very, like, oh, this is not great. But he understands the risks of going on these adventures and doing this stuff is going to be life or death. Um, you know, he, he, he's a healer. He's like, he's a cleric. He, he has seen 
death in many forms. He does not like how quickly it's coming to him. Mm -hmm. He thinks he is too young. He, you know, he's like, I've got my whole life ahead of me. I cannot die here. Like, kind of attitude and mentality. Uh -huh. Very opposite to Nicole, which I found quite funny when I thought about Because Nicole was like, death will come for me when it comes to me. Died all this fucking time and got rezzed, like, all the fucking <laughs> time. And was like, I guess it's just not my time to die. Where Lazarin is like, I know it's not my time to die. Like, I am the maker of my destiny. I know it's not my time to die. So, he's a lot more, like gonna be a bit more careful he's just like i know he did he feels like he can't like what happened to him just kind of happened he's not like he like did anything bad or wrong he just was in the wrong place at the wrong time so he's mm -hmm. like not happy he is like fucking terrified now like he's already been scared of death anyways he's like terrified of dying so be interesting to see like <laughs> is that would you say that makes this whole like uh groups looking for you even more like scary for him because he feels yes. fragile right now yes and no like yes because obviously it could happen at any point and he's feeling fragile but no because he has enough like ignorance for it to be it's not the present danger like it's not right in front of his face mm -hmm. so he doesn't have to confront it so he's kind of been like i'll just put this in the box and that box can sit on that shelf and i never look at that shelf that's there we won't deal with that right now um Rather than it being like, oh, I'm facing this, you know, shadow demon in front of me. Like, that's terrifying. Cool, that's going to kill me. Like, it's there in his mind, but he's not like, he's, he's trying to suppress it and trying to like hide it away. But deep down, he's, yeah, he's, he is Scared. very much that like paranoid fucking, he's always, you know, got an eye on his back and, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I love it though. I love it. Um, a bell. That's me. How do you, IC and OOC, feel about the journal situation now that both characters have had some time to cool off to cool off over it? Uh, our character, I still love it, and I don't regret my decision at all to steal that journal. I think it was great. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, in character, uh, Kes regrets it a little bit. She, she, she kind of thinks that it was not her best play considering the fallout. She's also still confused as to why it was a big deal. Like, she doesn't quite get it still, but she just understands that it was. Yeah, so, I, I, yeah I understand, I understand. Um, but she's also kind of at a point right now where she's like, all my relationships with people are strained. And this is one I could have dealt with not straining, considering everything else that is happening right now. Like, <clears> this <throat> one relationship would have been good to, like, have as it was before I ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, like, even then, she still doesn't understand. Like, um, Brooke said that his trust in her is, like, gone, kind of. Mm -hmm. and she's like, eh, I don't really understand what that means. And so... There's, there's a lot of stuff with her, like, trying to figure out whether she does trust people or whether, like, her perception of trust is different that has come from this. And then there's the entire selfish conversation again. But, um, it, it was a small thing that I thought was going to be, like, a haha funny meme and has triggered a lot of existential crisis in the guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, who am I? <laughs> what is happening? Am I really so, this, yeah. this big of an asshole? <laughs> yeah. In a minute. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. That that Dutch geek, Mr. DM man. Hello. Hi. Now that we've begun preparing to close up this, for lack of a better term, quest slash storyline, do you have a particular pot, plot hook in mind you expect the party to take? Are you leaning more towards presenting story hooks frequently, or are you more happy to let the party kind of just wander around, chill out and know each other, and then pick up quests randomly, as it were? Um. Well, I kind of want to see what you guys decide on doing. Now that, you know, the pressing matters have been dealt with, because everyone still, or there's still a couple of plot hooks that reside within the party. Um, I, ex I, I I fully expect the next thing you do is finish up the search for the tiers, because after, you know, well, there's supposed to be a tier here somewhere in the dungeon that you are, that you haven't found yet. But like after you find that, um, there's one tier left, and I'm fully assuming that that is what that is going to be like the next order of business is finish that up. Uh, for Davian. Um, other than that, um, 
I'm leaning towards just kind of letting you guys figure it out. I know that there's some plot hooks that the party has and like in the back of their heads, like, oh, we could do this or we could do that. Um, I want to kind of just see what you guys decide on doing. And if you decide to just kind of travel, you know, there'll be some bounty boards and cities and stuff for you guys to just kind of do some mercenary shit. Um, yeah, I'm expecting you guys to deal with Davian's like Kosuth thing next. Uh, and after that, I feel like I'm going to just see what you guys decide on doing pretty much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Sounds that. about <laughs> right. Sounds about right for us. All right. Get distracted by random shit. Exactly. I think it's time. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> ladies music. and gentlemen. Uh, because of all the flack that I get for giving people an easier time. <laughs> On trivia, on trivia uh, the, the, the games than others, I decided, fuck you all, and we're doing fucking Jeopardy. Oh, everything is fucked. Shit. <laughs> no, Why is it dude. fucked? God damn it, dude. Hold. 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 Thing. Don't worry, guys. This is a d professional show. Fuck. Boom. Trivia! We're doing Jeopardy! Alright, as you guys- hopefully you guys can see that, because obviously the scene is not built for this, but... We have, um, f uh, five categories. The first one, know your show. Second one, you're a wizard, Harry. Third one, monsters in the closet. Fourth one, canonically in canon. And the fifth one, oh my gods. Five questions <laughs> each. The more points a question is worth, the uh, harder the question will be. Some rules. To decide who goes first, you're both going to roll a d20. Whichever one, whichever one of you rolls higher gets to go first. Oh. The person that's picking a category chooses a category and an amount. Um, when you've picked that, I will read out a statement. You both then have 30 seconds to buzz in the answer. If someone buzzes in and they get, then they get another 30 seconds to form an answer. If they answer wrong or the timer runs out, the points for this question are getting deducted from their score. If no one answers, I read the correct answer and the person that picks this category picks again. Does that sound clear? Sounds yes. good to me. All right. Let me quickly, before I forget, lower the volume of that fucking buzzer because it's loud as dicks. <laughs> it's so loud. Um, hold. Ah! Oh, I Let's just can't. Back. I can't fucking... Mm. Why, why does Chrome not have a fucking volume thingy? Interesting. Okay, well, we're gonna just have to... Okay, buzz real quick for the boys. Yo. That's not too bad. It's a little loud, not but it's bad. not too bad. All right, so... With that said, gamers, gamers. I would like for you both to roll a d20. Hell yeah, style Ooh, strong. 16. Eight. <laughs> okay, with that, oh, no. Bell, you get to go first. Uh... Category and uh, amount. Canonically in canon for 100. All right. Canonically in canon for 100. Oh, this man rules Barovia. Uh... Timer starts. Timer starts now. You, you need to remember. You need to buzz, buzz in. in. Yeah, you can I'm trying to remember. Barovia. Fucking. Fucking who? <laughs> <laughs> Um... Okay. I don't remember. <laughs> who is... You buzzed in? Who is Strahd? That's it. Correct. Hold well, on. Well, I could quickly... remember that my head was Strickhaven, and I don't know why. <laughs> it's not even related. Let's see. Who is Strahd? Who is Count Strahd from Zerovich? Correct. Go. So that means Koiba. Hey. 100 points on the board. Oh, yeah, baby. Ah, shit. All right. All right. That also means... That is now your turn to pick. Uh, you're a wizard, Harry, for 400. You're a wizard, Harry, for 400. Alrighty. I need to undo my buzzer, by the way. Oh, oh uh, clear buzzers. Yep. Third level spell that puts up the three willing creatures to sleep for 10 minutes, granting them the benefit of a short rest. Fucking what? <laughs> no, it's, a, it's a 400 question. It's hard. I know, but Jesus. Ah, uh, let me think. What could that be? 
What could there be? <laughs> 15 seconds to buzz in. Thought it would be a bit easier than that. Hell no. Five seconds to buzz in. Hell no. I'm gonna try and guess. It's not Time's worth it up. for 400. Yikes. The answer is... What is catnap? Oh. Cat the spell <laughs> is uh, called catnap. <laughs> So no I've points. never heard of that fucking spell. No points get deducted because no one claimed the question. Uh, Koiba, uh, since you were the one that picked the previous one, yeah. you get to pick again. Uh, know your show for 100. Know your show for 100. This continent, the majority of campaign want to place on. Oh, Jesus. All right. Koiba. Oh, sorry. Uh, what is Keldalar? What is Keldalar? Correct. Boom, 200 points on the board for Koiba. Very good. Uh, did you get to pick again? Uh, know your show for 200. Know your show for 200. Oh. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The kingdom Gen is from. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I do know this. 22 seconds to buzz in. Wait, can I buzz in? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, you can both. Okay. Any question. Um, All right. The Goodwin Canoe. That is wrong. Right. No, I don't know what it is. Then. The answer. Fuck. The answer is the Fabric. 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 I, which means I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, minus yeah, two hundred yeah, yeah. for you. I don't know why I had. I I had complete like I had a kingdom in my head, but that was the fucking uh, dukedom that was in my head. I was like, I couldn't yeah. get out of my head. I like <laughs> secret in my head. I was like, nope, that's not right. All right. Uh, I mean, Koiba, it's your chance to go again. Oh, that's fucking mine. Uh, we'll we'll do uh, monsters in the closet for two hundred. Monsters in the closet for two hundred. This color of dragon has a fire breath that goes into a line. <sighs> oh my good lord! All right, Koiba. What is a blue dragon? Wrong. <gasps> Fuck! It's not. <laughs> the answer is what is a brass dragon? Brass dragon. <laughs> The it is. doesn't breathe fire, Koiba, you silly Oh, villain. fire! You I didn't read dumb. that bit. <laughs> I just didn't Koiba, read. Back just didn't on read. zero points. I, I just didn't read, you know what I mean? I, I didn't listen. <laughs> no. I, it's because I was reading. Dude. Um, Bell, with that, it is your turn to pick Can a category. Fuck. Uh... Bitch. <laughs> your wizard Harry for 100. Your wizard Harry for 100. All right. A spell that has a near perfect accuracy. Koiba. What is magic missile? What is magic missile? Correct. It was uh, near perfect because it doesn't miss unless someone casts a shield spell. Shield spell, all right, yeah. There you go. All right, very good. Uh, with that, Koiba, it's your turn. Fuck it. Oh my gods for 500. Oh my gods for 500. <laughs> oh my right. gods. This plane, located in Limbo, has the most misleading name of all, granting the complete opposite of what its name suggests. Fuck. I... Hmm. Your timer starts now. You got a few extra seconds because I forgot to hit the timer. It's fine. I feel like I know this, and this is what, that's what's annoyed me about this, is I feel like I know it. <laughs> I, once I like tell you, it, it's, yeah. it makes yeah. a lot of sense. I'm just trying to think which way round. 15 is seconds to buzz in. Four, three, two, no. one. All right. The answer is Warrior's Rest. Warrior's Rest, yeah. Warrior's yeah. Rest is a plane in limbo where the spirits of da dead warriors kind of uh, think about think of like Valhalla yeah. kind of vibes. Yeah, yeah, they where continue to fight, and right? Fighters and titans all clash in eternal yeah. combat, um, which is the complete opposite of rest. Yeah, and, uh, I fucking so I knew that. I, well, I knew Warrior's Rest as a plane uh, in limbo, but I couldn't fucking think the of question, it. So uh, hell yeah, no, points no right. minus points. Um, Koiba, you get to pick again, so since I want the answer. Um, Monsters in the Closet for 400. Monsters in the Closet for 400. For confident this time for read. This monstrous predator takes its name from its ability to alter light so that it appears to be several feet away from its actual location. Timer starts now. Uh, 
Ooh. I want to fuck up this Pythagon's name. Shit. 15 seconds. Oh, it's going to be like... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Okay, Koiba? What is 30 seconds on the clock. Displacer beast? What is a displacer beast? Yeah. Correct. Big one, Koiba. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. All right. 500 points on the board for Koiba. Minus 200 for Bell. Uh, <laughs> Koiba. Kill the Bell. You get to pick nice. another category. Uh, canonically in canon for 200. Canonically in canon. This city, recently featured in a lot of D&D related publications and media, is the largest metropolis on the Sword Coast. 30 seconds. Oh, me. I know nothing about Sword Coast. Fuck. <laughs> it's my biggest. Like, no thing. Don't think too much. Koiba. What is Waterdeep? Wrong. Shit. The answer is, where is Baldur's, Baldur's Gate? Gate. Uh. Minus 200 for Koiba. But still, 300 for Koiba, 200 for Bell. Bell, it is your your turn to pick a category since Koiba answered wrong. No, your show for 300. No, your show for 300. All right. The demiplane Dandar the Night Serpent rules. And that you visited in campaign one. Ooh, Koiba was first. Ah, shit. The Plane of Nightmares? Is that your answer? Oh, what, is the plane of, what is the Plane of Nightmares? It's Plane of Nightmares. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Oh, well. No, it's fine. Hear me out. Okay, I'm hearing <laughs> you out. You're putting me in a position here. Okay. Because do I have to be very anal about the answers? Okay, well, how about we do this way? Let Bell answer, and whoever's closer. <laughs> No, oh, because fine. you are correct, but it is the demiplane of nightmares. Oh, right, because the question is what demiplane. So you know what I mean. I'll give it to you, but you know, Dunker, you, know, you, know, you are a gracious man. A gracious man. But I'll give it to you, Dunker, Dunker. Um, Koiba, six hundred points. Your turn to pick a category. Hell yeah! Do I just stop? Oh, I... Monsters in the closet for one hundred. Monsters in the Closet for 100. The Abominable Yeti falls under this creature type. Bell, remember, you can also buzz in, even if it's a question that you didn't pick. I don't know any of these questions. Mm. <laughs> now. I know nothing. <laughs> Head empty. <laughs> Same, because I'm now like, huh, <laughs> what does a Yeti come under? <laughs> 10 seconds. Koiba. Go ahead. Oh. Uh... What is a monster? Wrong. No, I nah. <laughs> monstrosity. monstrosity. I'm going to be very specific here because monster yeah, yeah, yeah. is not a creature monster. type. Monster is not, yeah, monstrosity. So minus 100 for you, but you're still winning. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I you're mean, fine. You're chilling. It's not hard. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I am against the best person for this. If you want, yeah. like, the f either dead science because we don't know it or, like, just a free win. Mm. <laughs> I mean, this is. You all created this. Everyone was like, wah, wah. And I... every week is this one is hard harder or are my fucking set of trivia was harder than the others. I'm so I'm gonna give fuck everybody here. Everyone's gonna yeah, feel stupid, and that's the goal. Good. Um, well. <laughs> with that, uh, Koiba answered wrong. So Bell, you get to pick a category. Uh oh my god, one for one hundred. Oh, oh my, my god, for one hundred. <laughs> yeah. The most worshipped god in Dungeon Select lore. Oh fuck! If I know, I don't know that. <laughs> I can't remember. Koiba. Who is Eros? No, that's how it's pronounced. Far, fuck it's it. Correct. Oh, it's Eros. Eros okay. But it is, Eros. you know, I know what you meant, so I'll give you that. Yeah. Correct. Hell yeah. Boom. Hell Bell. yeah. I don't remember these things. Bell. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Bell. Oh, no. <laughs> Bell follow me. <laughs> Bell follow me. All right. Uh, Koiba. It's your turn to pick a category. Oh my yeah. gods for 200. Oh my gods for 200. All right. <laughs> this evil draconic deity is known to have a bad relationship with her brother. Uh, 
Oh, is it though? I know. Koiba. Who is Tiamat? Who is Tiamat? Correct. Her brother being Bahamut. Bahamut. Yeah. I had this moment where I was like, are they brother and sister or is it one of those fucking things where it's like, actually, uh, what a too much the mother of all dragons, so it's like fuck. In fuck. Uh, in the Forgotten Realms lore, which or like you yeah. know, which is basically yeah. like the end all be all five yeah. E canon lore, is yeah, yeah, yeah. um Tiamat is uh yeah. Bahamut's sister. Yeah. Yeah. Uh all right. Another category. Oh my gods for three hundred. Oh my gods for three hundred, fuck it. This deity is the Faerunian god slash goddess of the moon. It's a uh, fuck. <laughs> Bell. Sanin? I need you to answer in question form, please. Oh, yeah. Who is Sanin? Close, but no cigar. <laughs> it's Sanin. No. Oh, they're the same person. <laughs> they're the same. Literally, literally two different people. It is, uh, it is Saloon. <sighs> Sorry. So um, not Sanin. Sorry. Uh, I, I respect you for answering, though, Bell. Thank I you. It, yeah. All right, uh, Koiba. You think I was gonna possibly be like Luna McLuna fan? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll finish off with uh, we'll do we'll do Oh my God's four hundred. We'll oh my God's four hundred. Yeah. This lesser deity was also known as the Lady of Joy. Joy. Fucking. <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> 12 seconds. Gotta keep myself with this one, I know. No, it won't be that. Two. One. All right. The answer is Lyra. Uh, showed up in campaign one um, yeah. as... Um, Someone who Gen knew a lot about, uh, as Lyra was very close to Gen's deity, oh. whose name escapes me for a second. But Gen um, is prob banging her right now. <laughs> lol. Melil, right? Yeah. Um, nobody answered, so Koibi, you get to pick another category. Oh fuck yeah! Uh, know your show for five hundred. Know your show for five hundred. Hell yeah. The name and race slash creature. Uh, of the character that struck a deal with Lord Iron Deck. Oh! No! Shit. I know this! Buzz in then! <laughs> I don't remember it! <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, I've got. Oh, what the fuck is this fucking cunt's name? <laughs> Shit it! And big point question requires a big brain. Seven it does, seconds. does, but fuck! Buzz in, no balls. No, fuck you. <laughs> Time. Shit it. No idea. I'm gonna fucking kill I myself because I know I this. That. Who is Zodin? Yeah, I yeah, knew yeah, it was a Cambion. Yeah. Fuck a Cambion down. I was like, I don't fucking remember his name. I'm gonna lose fucking 500 points. Nine questions Duh. left. Currently, the score is 800 to Koba, <laughs> minus 500 to Bell. Hell yeah. So, with that. I know so much. Koba, it's hey. your turn to pick again. Uh, you're a wizard, Harry, for 500. Let's just you're get rid of this. You're a wizard, Harry, for 500. You might be able to get one. Might be able to get this one. This fifth level spell uh, on the druid spell list. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. This fifth level spell, druid spell that's exclusive, is used to create a ward that keeps out undead. Druid spell exclusive? Fuck. Yeah, so the only like, spell list this spell yeah, yeah, appears yeah. on is the druid yeah, yeah. spell list. This one, like, fuck. Because the quick, because the what answer I had is on, like, three spell lists. Shit. Is it like... And there's a ward that keeps out the undead. I don't know this one at all. I don't play druids. Neither do I. Druids is like the one class I haven't played. I'm just gonna and, five and here. Nice. And I'm really annoyed because I feel like I do know Two, it because I look at the spell one. list. Shit, that thing's not really quick. I hate that. <laughs> Am I gonna kill myself? Anti-life like... shell. I fucking knew that. Yep. I was gonna say it's nope. gonna be a shell, isn't it? But it is. It is a shell. Couldn't think. All right. 
I mean, Koiba, as long as Bell doesn't fucking chime in or answers questions correctly, you get you get to pick the fucking the fucking category. So true. You're a wizard Harry for two hundred. You're a wizard Harry for two. I feel like I should hundred. I want to get one of these. Like... Spell that can restore a creature back to life that has been dead for two hundred years, and no wish doesn't count. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, what is it called? Twenty though? seconds. I know what it's called. What is it called? It's not that. It's, it's, it's... My head is so wonderfully empty. Ten seconds. No, fuck you, I'm a cleric, I know this! <clears throat> it's a ninth level spell! Yep. Buzz fuck in then, pussy. Three, two, one. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Guys. I don't know. The answer is... True resurrection. True resurrection. Oh, wow. I couldn't think of the word resurrection and it was pissing me off. I'd regenerate <laughs> in my head. And I was like, it's another R word. <laughs> It's, it's another, another I was like, R word. Yeah, I was, I, was there like, I was like, it's like resurrection and revivify. It's like revive. It's rare, 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 rare. I couldn't fucking, I couldn't fucking get it. All right. If I thought of resurrect, I would have fucking had it. I love having no knowledge about anything. <laughs> oh, let's see. let's see what canonically in canon for 500 is. Canonically in canon for 500? I'm going to get fucked up by whatever this weird. This war was a battle between devils and demons. Nah, no idea. Oh, Quiba? Uh, what is uh, the American War of Independence? <laughs> <laughs> Funny, but no. The Blood War. So Koiba goes down 500 points. It was worth it. It was worth it for the <laughs> bit. For the joke, sure, man. Sure. Uh, Bell, have... with that, Koiba answered wrong. You get to pick a cat. I, I had like, Yay! I had over a thousand point lead, dude. I could afford to lose 500. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude. Uh, know your show for 400. Know your Why show not? for 400. Get rid of that category. The type of creature that granted the party in campaign one a wish. <laughs> Koiba. Yeah. What is a genie? Wrong. It wasn't a... It was, um... Uh, I mean, answer wrong, so Koiba loses points. A married. That's a which is... The t the, That's basically, a, gin. a djinn... Gin. Right. Has different archetypes, and water-based gins are called merits. Oh, there you go. The more you know. Uh, with oh. that, oh. it's getting closer. Oh. It's getting closer. <clears throat> Koiba on okay. minus one hundred. Bell on minus one hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really mean with with what is the American uh, Warband. Um, and uh, 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 Bell, who yeah, is oh, evil? Oh yeah, it's my evil. turn again. Yeah. The Let's go. Your wizard for Harry for three hundred. <laughs> Your wizard Harry for three hundred. Yeah, just clear. It. School of magic that will warp reality. <sighs> oh! It's not that one. Oh, twenty seconds. <laughs> Koiba. What is transmutation? Wrong. The answer is Dunamancy. Hey, uh, I like to argue Dunamancy isn't officially a school of magic. It is. Nope. Yes, it fucking is. It's not a school <laughs> of magic. As uh, okay, listen here. As of the Explorer's Guide to Wild Mount being a canon uh, D and D source book, Dunamancy is officially recognized as the eighth school of magic. Motherfucker, when did that happen? <laughs> so fuck you. I did my fucking okay. research. Damn, <laughs> Mr. Mercer was like, it's not a school of magic about two and a half years ago. What a yeah, prick. D&D, &D, like overall lore, uh, dubbed it the eighth school of magic. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, it's like two schools because it's graviturgy and yeah. chronomancy, but, yeah, right? The overarching thing, doomancy, is... That's no, cringe. School that magic. I got... tactics are working of just dragging quite <laughs> down. That's so cringe. Like Cringe, cringe D and D. D and D's cringe. <laughs> cringe. Can you undo my buzzer? Uh, cringe. Yes. I fucking hate that. With that, uh, only one hundred point difference between. My magic is working. <laughs> can only answer now. If I'm you do raise the next four questions, will be silence unless, of course, one of us know it, right? Yeah. I mean, fuck <laughs> so it. Not so be it. With That's that, the truth. Uh, answered true wrong. So Bell, pick a category. <laughs> I, I, I get. The worst bit is I want to get in plus scores. I can't be on a minus. Um, <laughs> monsters in the closet for 500. Monsters in the closet bell. for 500. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Upon reaching zero hit points in any plane, this creature's spirit returns to the immense plane of water to regenerate a new body. 
<laughs> no fucking clue. No. Won't be that. It'll be something really fucking weird. It's the 500 question. I mean, I don't know, is it? Maybe you should, maybe you should answer it and see. Yeah. No, I'll have a question in my brain that I'm not going to answer, and then if it comes up, I'm going to be very smug. Actually, I'm going to hate myself if it comes up and turn it right. <laughs> Fucking don't pussy. I'm going to pussy it. out. I want to lose the bell. Come bitch, on. Dude. I'm not losing the bell. He's fucking like, I'm going to lose the bell. Is an Aboleth. I was like, fuck for that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, with that, three questions left. We have Monsters in the Closet for 300, and we have Canonically in Canon for both three and 400. The score right now, minus 400 for Koiba, minus 500 for Bell. Koiba, you get to pick a category. Do I? I thought it was Bell. Oh, okay. No, because uh, nobody answered and you picked. Oh, oh wait, no, was it uh, Bell? I picked Sorry, you're right. It was Bell that picked. Bell! Yeah. <laughs> Let's do Monsters in the Closet for 300. <laughs> Monsters in the Closet for 300. Can have... The Beholder has this amount of ice stalks that shoot dangerous beams at their foes. So basically, how many ice stalks does a boulder have? <laughs> Are you counting an image on your head? Might be. <laughs> 16 seconds. Uh, Koiba. I should wait a little bit longer to give myself more time to think. No, you have 30 seconds. Yeah, if I should have done it like, use up my time better. Uh... What is 10? How many is 10? Correct. Ah, is 10. 10 different ice socks that all do yeah. a different thing. I was like, I swear it's more than 8, but it's less than 12. Mm. <laughs> no, 10 is correct. <laughs> all right. With that, Koiba, you're on minus 100. Two questions oh, left. Plus. And it's your chance. You can either pick canonically in canon for 3 or for 400. Uh, We'll do canonically in canon for 300. This individual is well known is a well-known traveler and storyteller known for many publications of guides throughout his lifetime. Oh, fuck. This could be fucking anything. There's so <laughs> many guides. Hmm. I'm not gonna There's say anything. three I can fucking think of. <laughs> Chances are probably one of them. Koiba. Who is Ravnica? Wrong. <laughs> is, it yes! is it Volo? Is it Volo? Is it Volo? It is Volo. Volo Thamp Gedarm, otherwise known as Volo. Fuck. Who released <laughs> over 16 books titled Volo's Guide to Inserts. Thank you. Yeah. Whatever the fuck here. Because that's Ravnica's guide to, and they all said fucking <clears throat> Tashes. We've gotten to the final question. Canonically in canon canonically for 400. 400. I'm just going to read it out. It's minus 400 for Koiba, minus 500 for Bell. I can get to zero. You can get <laughs> to zero. So, this character, originally featured in Critical Role, made their way into the canon D&D with, with the release of... with the release of Descent into Avernus. Koiba. Who is Archon? <laughs> the... I, I can't remember his full title, but who is Archon? Who is Archon the Cruel? Correct. And with Zero! that, Zero! Yes! <laughs> with that, that is our first round of D and D slash Dungeons and Jeopardy okay. done. Koiba with a big donut <laughs> <laughs> and Bell Woo! at My minus five hundred. Let me just quickly mark these scores down I'm somewhere. I'm so upset I didn't get Volos. It could have been positive. For yeah. Knowing. I could have been a lot more positive. I did guess Revolutionary War of Independence. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're really fucking through. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I threw right at the end. <laughs> Alrighty. So uh, hopefully you guys yeah. enjoyed this. Uh, you this little, this little, I like you know, that. Basically, we've done several variations of trivia games, and like this is oh fuck, I fucked it. That's fine. We're gonna end. We're gonna end soon anyway. But uh, uh, I'm more angry at myself that I threw rather than. The, uh, I fucked it. I fucked it, guys. Oh my god. I fucked it so hard. Jesus. I'm now Bell Mist. Yeah, you are. And Dutch is both, <laughs> and Dutch is both uh, me and himself. <laughs> mm -hmm. Am I just oh my god. It's me, Bell. I'm just so ditzy when I play. <laughs> I'm just so ditzy. I, I just mean. don't know. When I, play D &D. D &D. I don't know anything about the game I've been playing for basically three years. Yep. Uh -oh. Pretty much. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, with that. Why um, don't I exist anymore? Hang on. Okay. <laughs> you do. 
Uh, basically, <laughs> if we refuse to answer the entire game, we will be belt. Yeah, but I'll fucking rip your ass out. Uh, mark my words, I will buzz for everything. Good, Duke. That's fun. You know, if you're gonna fucking lose, lose like minus 3k, dude. Fucking. Well, hell, that's yeah. the problem, because I was winning. I didn't want to <laughs> fucking just tank it. I was, I would have done. Hey, you did. I did. You did anyway. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I didn't want to like tank it, tank it. <laughs> you want to be versus Vincent and go down in flames together? Uh, oh, that'd I mean, be Vincent so fucking... will be on one more discourse, so uh, yeah. Vincent sure, and probably. Duke together would be so fucking funny. Yeah. Oh, God. So, I mean, okay. it would make sense for next week. So, with week... that, um, I'll leave off this episode of Dungeon Discourse with a teaser oh, yeah. for next episode, mm -hmm. uh, as oh, we no. always do. All I'll say is that Sai definitely has left an impression on the group already. But um, he's got more up his sleeve. And with that, we'll see you guys on Sunday. He's a change. We'll, it's we'll a change. I pulled. I fucking come on. I've, I've I've pulled that card before. The changeling in the party. Come on. That's yeah. Weird. yeah. That's why you do it again. Because it's like full us, full us once. Shame on me. Full us twice. Shame me. Full us three times. We're fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Thanks for being here, Coyman Bell. Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, it was great. And uh, we'll be here That's on hosted. Sunday for episode 17 of Dungeon yeah. Hell yeah. Take care, everybody. Have a good night. Bye-bye.